thanks, Sam, for telling us about the world's largest chicken. Now, I do believe we're in deepest, darkest Sussex with Petulia. Are you there? Petulia? Oh, hello. Sorry, it's awfully chilly in here today. Good afternoon and welcome to Newsnight. I'm Petula Gladstone, reporting from Sussex Square Gardens, this beautiful place. And if we get a chance, maybe I'll be able to show you around. Anyway, eyewitnesses three days ago saw two young children, thought to be brother and sister, break into these very gardens and disappear into this very eerie tunnel. Police and firefighters were last night searching the premises. I believe there's somebody still here. Should we have a look? Oh no, he looks terribly busy, terribly busy indeed. I don't think we should just distract him from his work. Anyway, they've been, um, they've been, they unearthed this unfinished diary extract right here. As you can see, it looks very old and battered. And they believe that it belonged to the young boy who was seen here three days ago and then never seen since. We're asking for the support of the public to fill the rest of this diary. I'll just read it to you. Dear diary, if anyone here is reading this, then this is what really happened. This is my story. I didn't think much of it before I entered the tunnel. I was just looking for an adventure, and I definitely got one. If only I'd thought about it before diving headfirst into this tunnel, things might be very different. The tunnel was damp and cold, and I could hear mice scurrying at my own heartbeat. As I emerged from the tunnel, I couldn't believe my eyes. I saw, and as you can see, it's been ripped. We don't know what happened at the rest of the story, and I was wondering, what do you think happened? Does anybody know? And if anyone has any information or saw anything, then if they could get in contact with us as soon as possible, telling us what they think might have happened, then we would be very, very grateful, because we just don't know. Thanks, Petulia.